So this will be part 9 of our fleet management version 2. So this is where we are. For now, we've set up all the modules, the HR module and all every other module I showed you right here. And I think for now, I can just take out this page until we will need it later when we're going to be creating the data model, that is the tables. So for now, let's take it away. And so what I told you in the previous class is that in this class, in this part 9, we are now going to set up the navigation of this application for now. What we have is this navigation template or these placeholders here or default navigation that came with the that came with the template or uh, the UI template. So let's change it up so that we have uh, something that makes sense. So what I'm going to do now is let's go to the navigation. I'm going to remove this widget because for each navigation item I want to have drop down. So I will remove the ones that doesn't have drop down. Anyway. Let's go to work on it and then we see how it looks. And remember, the interesting thing is that we are going to be working in only one single page and that should be our layout page. So if I go to the template and go to underscore layout, you have our layout page. This is the only place we are going to be working and this is super nice because this will now apply to every other page. Okay, so let's locate the sidebar. So I'm going to collapse this and I'm going to scroll up at this point. So let me kind of take this, uh, minimize this. Now, where we are going to be working is called A side uh, section. So this A side, you can see, you can see the UL have the sidebar menu. So what I do sometimes is just collapse a whole lot of things so that you'll be able to understand exactly uh, how the menu items are set up. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna do this. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you go back to the application, we have, let's take this away. One, two, three, four, five, six. The dashboard is separate, right? So let's go to check. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it means that this first one is the dashboard. So we wanna leave the dashboard intact. We wanna leave the dashboard. And I would like us to remove these two LI items. These two LI items doesn't have a sub menu. Okay, so we now have one, the first one is active one is our dashboard. So it's, we are gonna leave it exactly the way it is, it's gonna be dashboard. And the second one, uh, so the dashboard, then we have, after the dashboard, we need six more items. So basically I'm gonna simply copy two, literally I'm gonna, <laughs> Simply copy to and paste. So we have six items uh, here. Now, normally I like to check that I've not broken anything. So I'm going to save all and run this application now. And let's check. Let's just make sure we've not broken anything. Because if you are, if you are tinkering of the UI code, hey, uh, hey, uh, uh, the HTML codes, always check that you've not broken anything because um, this is very important. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So everything is still okay, and every all of them have a sub menu item, and that is fine. So what we want is that we want to have only one item in the sub menu, and that's going to be index because that is the only page we've created for now. So what I'm going to do now is first let me just take a look uh, here. Um, okay, good. So let's go back here and let's just rename them to the names of our modules. Um, so, so we have the first one. Normally the first one is going to be the main module of your application, which is in this case vehicles or fleet. So I'm going to come here. Instead of having forms, I'm going to say uh, fleets. And I'm going to collapse it back. And the second one I would like to call it HR. Uh, HR, that's fine. And the third one, maybe the third one is going to be accounts. Accounts. Okay. And the fourth one is going to be fourth one. Let's call, let's use payroll. Payroll. And then we have this, the, the second to the last one, that's called help desk. Let's use help desk. And there's one that is left. And the last one should now be settings. 
or we call it parameters, remember? Parameters. All right, so again, I'm going to just save everything and just check that I've not broken anything. So I'm going to stop and rerun this application one more time. And let's just check we've not broken anything and also see that the names of the name changes persist. So if I go back here and refresh the page, and you can see we have all our departments set up. So now instead of having form validation, form validation, we, not, we now want to have only the index pages because this index pages is the only thing we have. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come here and we have our fleet, we have fleet and we have this, um, on that we have this A here. So I'm going to just remove one and here I'm going to call it uh, fleet home. Yes, a fleet home is okay. And now the HR now is what you want to pay attention to. The HR is going to be, I mean, the href is going to be slash uh, fleet. Yeah, so it's going to be slash fleet. Again, I'm going to just uh, check that everything is okay. So I'm going to save everything and we'll run this application. So I want us when we click, when we see the fleet uh, menu item and we click on slash fleet, and we click on fleet home, we are going to get to the fleet home. So I'm going to refresh this page and here we have a dashboard, it's not working, so we're going to fix that because of, I'm going to fleet, I'm going to fleet home. So fleet home works, you can see fleet home goes exactly to the fleet department. So I'm going to fix the dashboard now and fix other ones. So in case of the dashboard, it's going to be the first one here, so you can see the dashboard here. And the href here is going to be simply uh, slash index. Yeah, it's going to be slash index again. Normally, I like to continue checking so that if you break something, you know exactly where to uh, debug it from. So let me just refresh this and just go back. So if I go to the dashboard now, it still doesn't work. So let's see if we have dashboard, we have index. So I'm going to stop the application from running. So let's just check our controller file. So we have slash index should give us the dashboard. So let's just come here and click on enter index. It doesn't work. Okay, so what we can do, we have slash index. Yeah, we need to, one second, let me just make sure. So I'm going to reload this application. I'm going to come here and go to Maven and simply click on Reload Project. And go to File. I'm going to Save All and run one more time. So at this point, let's just go back to the Layout page. Oh, sorry. The Layout page, the Index page is not using the Layout page. So the index page remains the index page. So let me just see. Um, it's going to be this index page. Okay, so it's not the index page, it's not just in the layout page. So let's work on it a little later. Let's just make sure our modules are working well. So I'm going to go back to my layout page and let's continue changing our uh, working from here. So in this case, we have a HR module and I'm going to take out this tool and here I'm going to say HR home, <coughs> HR home, and here I'm going to say, uh, no seconds. I'm going to simply say slash HR, and I'm going to go to the next one. This is accounts. I have only only one uh, item, so I'm going to say accounts home. And here I'm going to say the HR is going to be uh, slash accounts. And I'm going to go to the next one. The next one is payroll. So we have a whole lot of things. I'm going to just delete all of them. And here I'm going to have slash payroll. And the next one is help desk. And we have only one item. Let's Meanwhile, the payroll is going to be payroll home. I'll have a help desk, we're gonna set it to, just use one word, help 
desk and the H right here is going to be slash help desk and finally we have the parameters we have the parameters I'm going to just take out a whole lot of things from here and we have parameters parameters home and the H right here is going to be slash parameters okay so I think everything should be fine so if I run it now let's say I'm going to run the application right now and everything should be working fine so if I go back to the application now refresh we have everything so okay so this is the index page which is exactly not what we, where we want to go so I'm going to go to HR so from here you can see everything here we have the plate home we have the account home we have everything working perfectly well but we still have from the dashboard, uh, we need to work on the uh, index page. So, um, so here we have is there's a problem here. So we are going to fix that. But for now, I'm going to give you an exercise. Try to fix this problem. This problem about the dashboard. Try to fix it yourself. In the next part, we now maybe fix it and now continue uh, in the next part. So I want to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any challenges whatsoever following, please leave me a comment in the comment box below. I remain kind to the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.